Hi, I'm Dan Sin and today in my class I want to talk about Onis. Onis are like um, um, trolls and demons in Japanese folklore. So they are humans. They say humans after death become like a demon. and You see them uh, as Halpa in Hell with King Amar, the the king of hell or you see them uh, with Shoki. Shoki was like the guy fighting and hunting Onis. It's like a big guy sitting on a tiger or like if you know a little bit the history you're you, I'm sure you saw it. So Oni demon. Okay uh, it comes really near to kind of a troll or human so well, I I personally really also like to tattoo it because if I only used, I can use the full body, I can use only half of the body, but it's again for me it's a good filler, and it's a very like a lot of people ask it as a filler. So same, I would start by pretty much do the the hat, the circle. Um, it has like big horns, it can have small horns, it can be big horns. I like to do them big, it, it looks very uh, demonic. Okay, and let's see. Do you see them normally with weapons? So he's holding like a club. Uh, looking like a baseball club and it, it they say it's like a, a symbol of the dark side um, that's what I was reading about I like to do the Onis really also like like stuck together also like like kind of good and again the same if I'm drawing them and I have problems with the position I like to take a picture of myself in the mirror of somebody in the shop even holding something in their hand like a baseball bat or whatever I find or, um, or a brush to, to clean the floor only that I have the position of the hand and how I like to, to show them so okay these are the shoulders a little bit high up I like to do that, that little towel they have, like a little fuller hanging over them and then the breast coming a bit out and then again like with the dots I'm like now I'm gonna do so you can already see that one hand is down, one is in and then the head so the eyes. We do this one maybe with mouth closed. It has the nose. It has a little bit human character. The the like the face is kind of human, but more. More like a like a troll or demon or maybe a little bit shorter the arms. The arms I like to do that they look like very uh, like if you remember the Master of the Universe like the He-Man little toys where they have like the big muskets. That's how I like to make my own is also looking. That you see really the mask because they are like st strong and very uh, scary monsters or demons. I like to give them a little bracelet. This arm is maybe a little bit too long, so let's erase it. The arm would be 
behind. this club in his hand okay and then I also like to do this little curly hair on them here's the ear and the little hair like these spikes around the eyes and and again very fast and very uh, rough sketch and I start with the nose do it looking a little bit angry there's there's many stories about the Onis but like one I remember and which one I really like is that if the only would attack you you can throw beans on them and they are scared of that why exactly I don't really remember but I only like that story that they big and scary but still defend like still scared of some beans The horns look pretty much like the one from a dragon. They're very similar. And then the head has like this kind of Japanese skull. Shape. And then the curly hair, it's like the circle going in coming back again and this goes all over so this is it's so the best is to do the curly hair first the circles and then do this thing where you go in you turn and you're coming back it takes a little bit to figure it out but as soon you know how it works and then you can fill in later the inside. It's only for you guys to see how. And then the ear, I would do a really big ear. Maybe if you want, put an earring in it. I do here the tower. What has around, like kind of a, a full R hang. around his neck and here would be the breast and then the arm I think if you like look at bodybuilders they have really the, the shape and the over over only And the cup and then the hands let's do only the hands and then the hands three fingers you can do four fingers two fingers I like the three fingers so I do like a human hand but I do the fingers very similar to the dragon fingers so if you want to like reference the finger I would I would not go too far but take dragon fingers and do a little maybe a little show bracelet around the arm and then here it's the same it comes over the bat 
Oh, there he is, the other one. A little bracelet. And then the cup with the, with the knots on it. And again, like I said already in classes before, I like to do it very fast. And as soon I have the machine in my hand, then because the light the lines are only like in red i can do my nice black line and i know what i have to do if i want to do some spikes around the arm if i want to do more armor i could do like like kind of uh, barbarian big armor if you want to do a third eye you do a third eye if you want to do more horns, you do more horns. If you only want to do one horn, you only do one horn. Where you see Oji, uh, where you see Oni's very good in Japanese folklore is Rajin and Fujin. It's the god of uh, the demon of thunder and the demon of the wind. One comes with the drum, that's the Rajin, so like like the thunder, and the other one is the Fujin, like so you. It's very easy to uh, to hold in your hand which one is which one, and the one is with a big wind uh, back, and the other one is with drums where they where he drums and it comes out the thunder. So yeah, that was a little a little story about the onis and how to draw them, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I see you tomorrow for another class. Thank you.